What's up guys? It's your boy Ormade90 here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today we're going to be talking about one of the most cringy things ever to exist on any planet, in any galaxy, or in any universe ever to exist ever. And that would be Nickelodeon. Now we're gonna start by talking about Nickelodeon's own award ceremony, the Kids' Choice Awards, which is basically run by a bunch of eight-year-olds on the internet. It, how it works is that they put up the nominees online, and everyone who wants to, or cares to, can vote for whoever they think should win the category. So, most of the people that go on Nickelodeon.com without their parents' permission are a bunch of nine-year-olds who are not eight anymore, and just turned nine, who think they can go online without their parents' permission. Uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? Fuck pictures. Don't tell my mom that! <laughs> without getting in trouble from their parents, or from the FBI. Don't tell my mom that! <laughs> so the reason why I think this is incredibly cringy is because of how little kid-oriented it is, if, if that's even the word for it. Um, based off of how Nick.com in 2015 posted a website or a page on their website called Kids Choice Award Memes and it brought up some of the most memeable moments ever to exist ever. For example, it includes such classic memes as Slime So Fancy You Already Know The Ultimate Do Not Touch Button and finally More Like Nick Wonus now, I don't know about you, but those are some pretty dank memes. <laughs> Anyways, another reason why I think this is the most cringy thing on the planet is because of how anyone can win. Now, this is not only cringy, but it's more or less stupid because of how little kids can choose anyone they want. That includes YouTubers and that also includes Minecraft YouTubers, obviously. Um, for example, Dan from the Diamond Minecart won a uh, Nickelodeon blimp or whatever the fuck they call it. It's kind of gay, but he won one, and I mean, it's good for the guy, but, you know, and he was happy about it in the video that he made, but, you know, how happy can you be about an orange plastic blimp, you know? Like, like really, it's kind of, it's really kind of stupid. Okay, and moving on to our second subject, don't even get me started on those laugh tracks. They're just cringy as fuck. They can be placed anywhere in any single one of Nickelodeon's TV shows, mostly the live-action ones, if you can even call them live-action. They're more like, 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 live, live, terrible. <laughs> Anyways, to have a perfect example of what I mean by this, I went on to randomwordgenerator.com or www.textfixer.com slash tools slash randomwords.php. I'll put a link in the description. And then I clicked the button below to generate four random words. And then I did that a bunch of times to find some of the most random words. Now I'm going to put a laugh track next to them. See how you like them. House guest. <laughs> Consumer. <laughs> Cranberry. <laughs> Bisexual. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> anyway, Got it. That was pretty fun. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it appears we've got one more. Oh, okay. Um, genocide. <laughs> well, I think that's enough said about the laugh tracks. They're just pretty freaking stupid, and they're very unneeded. Okay, and now for my last argument. Um, it's the cringiest part of all, and thanks to whoever made this video, because I used, I think, two cringe compilations to get the majority of the, the footage for this next part. And I'll post a link to those in the description. Um, they're uh, they're pretty funny. You should watch them in total. Um, but I'll start with how Nickelodeon tries and attempts so hard to be funny and to rip off the damn Daniel meme, but it just it's just pathetic. It just makes me want to to take a paperclip 
and stick it into my cornea and just I just want to do that over and over again until I don't even have a cornea and my cornea does not exist um do you ever get that feeling because I I get that feeling like like right now almost Dang, drummer! You ready to pound those skins? Locked and loaded. Dang, doctor! <laughs> Romeo! Romeo! Wherefore? Art thou? Oh, no, she's terrible. Dang! Nick back at it again with the Saturday nights. On See, it's just, it's just cr- yeah. Alright, I'm gonna move on because I really don't want to talk about that for too long. It's just embarrassing. They should literally be embarrassed with themselves. Okay, the next, maybe even worse. Um, as you guys all know, uh, Fetty Wap, who made the Whip song, um, they tried to rip off, uh, Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap made the Whip song. They tried to rip him off by doing things like, um, I'll just, I'll just roll the footage. And then this next part is just this freaking terrible. Yeah. Like who even is this? To think they replaced Jimmy Neutron with this cancer makes me want to kill some helpless animals. Okay, and now this doesn't really go with the mainstream media kind of thing, but I feel like I had to include this because of how cringy it was. The show Game Shakers, it's just a cringy show in general. So I'm gonna show you one of the main characters from Game Shakers. And this is Babe, Brooklyn born, born to make video games. If you can't handle it, learn how to handle it. <laughs> so apparently they allow anorexic 30 year old women fresh out of rehab to be cast members now. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say before, you know, I upset someone with that. But, um. Yeah, so. She is pretty much the breakfast guy. If you hadn't noticed. Breakfast! Um. Yeah, so. That's about it with how they compare to mainstream media and how they try to fit in. It's just overall a 0 out of 10 experience never watching Nickelodeon again. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Leave a comment thinking what you think is the most cringy thing. Crazy Vine Comps, I'm looking at you, buddy. Go subscribe to my friend Promice Official. I'll have a link down in the description. Also, subscribe to my friend Plastic Fish Tank. Currently inactive, but I think he's going to reboot his channel soon, so subscribe to him. He's in the description, too. And, uh... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later, dudes. You know, that's the only comment I have on that, just a big ass sigh. So, um, before that, if you didn't know, I used to make, uh, like,